Hello everyone and welcome. Do you wish to know how you can copy protected content from any website? Let me show you how. Meanwhile, if you're a new viewer on this channel, kindly click on the subscription button and tap on the notification bell icon. Also, don't forget to smash on the like button on this video. Let's dive right into it. Uh, for protected content such as this, for instance, as you can see on the screen, if you want to copy from a website such as this, you may get an, uh, a message that displays something like this, content copy not allowed. Or a message similar to this. If you wish to copy from another website, you can see. If you look here, you see alert, content is protected. Okay, so let's open one of these. Okay, next. So you can see, this is an example of what you might have encountered or you're encountering while trying to uh, maybe copy the content of a website that you may wish to use for um, research or, you know, for other study or educational purposes. So, but I'm going to show you the step-by-step uh, -step process of um, achieving this. The first step is you have to go to google.com and type Chrome extension. Make sure that you are using a Chrome browser. So type Chrome extensions inside the Google um, search bar. Then when the Chrome extension comes up, when you look at this um, second option, you have the Chrome web store, so you click on it. Okay, so right here inside the Chrome uh, web store, on the search bar by the left side bar, you can see um, the direction and the position of my cursor. You type simple allow copy. By the way, watch this video till the end so that you won't meet, miss any of these steps. Because if you miss any step, it won't work. Now, you see several options here. About three options. Now, the one you should go for is the first one. You have to click on it. Now, by clicking on it, you will see uh, an option by the right sidebar. Add to Chrome. So, you have to click on Add to Chrome. So, once you have added it to Chrome, you will see some notifications here that shows that you have added it to Chrome. Now, let's go back to those um, websites that uh, we are protected, that uh, right-click was disabled on, or that they allow us to um, copy their content. So remember, we encountered this um, content is protected um, notification earlier on this um, website that we want to use for this. So now, if you can you see, it's still displaying, even though we have installed the uh, extension, but we are going to handle that right now. In order to do that, uh, do away with that, that's the uh, protection, the content protection that is enabled there. You have to go to your browser address bar. By the side, you see a settings icon. If you look here, you can see this is the icon. So you click on it. Once you click on it, you see the um, simple allow copy extension that we installed earlier. Now, what you do next is you click on pin so that it will be listed among these um, icons here. Once you click on pin, make sure you are still on the website you want to copy from. Uh, you now click on that icon now. That simple allow copy icon. So when you click on it, you see that it is activated. So you can see, can you see the uh, icon is activated? Showing you that the copy protection has been removed. So for us to test run this, see that same uh, web content that should protect the copy. Can you see, you can now highlight it and you can now right click and copy it. Now, let us paste it in a Word document so you see how it's going to look like. Um, 
Okay, this is a Microsoft Word document. Let us paste it here. Can you see? We have just pasted um, the first content from the first um, website. Okay. Okay, let's go to the second one. If we want to um, copy for this um, from this particular website now, we still have to repeat the same process. The icon is still here. Remember, we pinned it here, the allow copy uh, extension. So you click on it to activate it. You can see the color is activated. That's orange and then blue, light blue. Now, once you click on it, you have to highlight the section that you wish to copy and then right click, copy. You go to your documents and then um, paste it there. That's if you are using um, a Microsoft Word offline document or if you are using the online doc, Google Doc, you can paste it there. And then um, from here, you can do whatever work you wish to uh, do with these um, contents. So um, that is how you can be able to achieve this. Remember, the first step is for you to install the plugin, simple allow plugin, uh, then followed by uh, enabling it by opening the website that you wish to copy from. Then after opening the website, ensure that the particular page that you wish to copy from is uh, the browser tab is open. Then you have to enable it from the bar, the address bar. You can see this, the icon. By enabling it, once you click on it the first time, it's enabled. If you click on it again, it is disabled. Can you see? So when you click on it, it is enabled. So you can see I'm toggling it. Remember, this is for educational and research purposes. Meanwhile, if you got value from this um, video, we would like you to click on the like button on this video. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, kindly smash on the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you always get notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.